Hey guys, Virtual Lix here, back again with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys what's new in the latest iOS 8 Beta 5. So if you go into the settings app right here and then scroll down till you find privacy, home data is now renamed as HomeKit. After that, another thing that's new is that we now have this blur transition by pulling down the spotlight search and swiping down to actually get the spotlight search is now much more faster than before and it's a change that I very much like. After that, if you go into the settings application once more and then go to wallpaper, the brightness slider has now been removed from the wallpaper settings. After that, if you go into the settings application once more and then go to privacy, we also now have the privacy settings for the health application in here too. Also, if you go into the settings application once again and then scroll down till we find iCloud and then scroll down once again, we now have new icons for iCloud Drive, Backup and iCloud Keychain. Also, if you go ahead and open up the health application here and then tap on health data and then tap on all and then we go ahead and tap on the share button, we can now export the health data directly from the app itself. Also, if I go ahead and open up my notes application right here and then press and hold on that smiley face to open up my keyboard switcher, we now have a toggle right besides the predictive text settings. After that, if I go ahead and open up my settings right here and then scroll down till I find my photos and camera, under iCloud photo library settings, we now have an option to optimize our iPhone storage or download and keep original photos. Also, if I go ahead and open up the health application once more and then tap on medical ID and then tap on create medical ID, we now have an option to show the ID itself when someone taps on the emergency dialer while your device is locked. Lastly, another thing that's new in iOS 8 Beta 5 is that if you go ahead and restore your device, you now get a red iTunes icon instead of a blue one while the device is in DFU mode. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you want to see more content like this. I will catch you all later in the next video, peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button down below. Also, if you are sticking around for a moment, make sure you check out my video on how to install iOS 8 Beta 5 for free without a registered UDID or developer account. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All those links will be in the description down below, as well as on the screen right now with an annotation.